What is different about today, however, is not to announce the beginning of yet another campaign for the United States Senate, but rather to announce that after 35 years of representing the people of Connecticut in the United States Congress, I will not be a candidate for re-election this November. Let me quickly add that there have been times when my positions and actions have caused some of you to question that confidence. I regret that. But it is equally important that you know that I have never wavered in my determination to do the best job, to do the best job for our state and our nation. I love my job as your senator. I always have, still do. However, this past year has raised some challenges that insisted I take stock of my life. Over the past 12 months, I've managed four major pieces of legislation through the United States Congress, served as chair and acting chair of two major Senate committees, placing me at the center of the two most important issues of our time, health care and reform of financial services. I lost a beloved sister in July and in August, Ted Kennedy. I battled cancer over the summer and in the midst of all of this, found myself in the toughest political shape of my career. Now let me be clear, I'm very aware of my present political standing here at home in Connecticut, but it is equally clear that any certain prediction about an election victory or defeat nearly a year from now would be absurd. Strange as it may sound, I'm not confident that I would be standing here today making this announcement if these situations had not occurred. None of these events or circumstances, either individually or collectively, is the cause for my decision not to seek re-election. Yet together these challenges have given me pause to take stock and to ask questions that too few of us in elected public life ever do.